How long your, your walk-off hit there? I think he'd thrown you 67, 68, 69, then he went fastball, <laughs> then he came back with off-speed again. Were, were you sitting off-speed, or did the fastball put just enough doubt in your mind that you could see one of those? Um, I, I Dax told me to try and sit off-speed, but I told him I was looking for that fastball. Um, so I continued looking for that. Um, I know that the curve buzzer was going to be big, so I had it. <laughs> 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 they just made this jersey even heavier. <laughs> well, they made us swear to silence yeah. on that, so. <laughs> I don't like you guys. <laughs> Would you like to finish that? Now? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> if I remember what I was talking about. Um, no, uh, I knew I had to look for that curveball in if, if he threw it to me. So I was just reacting to that. Um, you know, this is your first career walk-off hit, right? So how did it feel to get that? I mean, it's good. Um, I, I, I knew I was going to get the chance, so I kind of just, like, rose to the case. I, I, said, I told myself that I was going to end it if I got the chance. I was just confident in myself because I train, we train these, we're in the situations every day. So. Yeah, and how does it feel in that situation? You know you're coming up thinking maybe you're going to face one pitcher, and then, you know, it's a different pitcher with this kind of a funky look to them. I mean, yeah, it's we've seen him before here, and always I'm always by Baxter and, and the guys asking how that pitch moves and how it goes. So I wasn't a complete stranger to it. Thank you. Thank you, guys.